hi everyone and welcome back so in this video we are going to build a simple movie application so it's all about we are going to build a next.js application which is going to just fetch the data from this imdb store and we are going to have just a couple of routes like fetching the list of movies and then looking into the particular movie data so here you can see the different routes i have i have the listing routes and then movie detail page and then we also have a small search uh, page so this is the t3 stack folder a mono repo we are using for from the github and i have added another baseline application using next js typescript uh, which is using the app directory so we have a source so i'm just creating just uh, folders whatever we need like inside a source i created a lib component and app and inside app you can create apis and all rest all the other configurations are about packagization uh, post css tailwind uh, the basic configuration which you see in each and every other next.js project here we are using next.js 13.2 i think 13.4 or 5.x is the latest version here what we are going to do we are not going to read and write to the database and fetch the data from that here we already have some imdb apis we are going to use our own api keys and fetch the data from there and here we are going to understand the routing concept the page based uh, directory structure what is the server component what is the the client only component which deals with the react state management so here i'm just creating these folders inside a components so we have a, about route movies route and search route and i do have a couple of uh, components also like we need to have a header component new bar component and new bar item component then we have these menu grid component menu item component because these each and every movie information we are showing on a particular tile so it's like a either a flex container or a grid container where we are showing this so there is a cards so there is a movies component where you are, you are just listing down or fetching all the movies and then you are iterating and rendering the movie data through this movie card component so here we can create a page.tsx inside about so here you can just create uh, the server component the about component is all about okay displaying the basic information and inside movies we are going to have a another route which is going to display the movie information movie by id so there is a movie forward slash id and then there is a page.tsx so this will be rendered when you are hitting up when you are clicking onto a particular movie card component and then there is a search so we are passing search term uh, inside this page.tsx so it the route will be search forward slash search term so based on that search term it is going to hit these uh, imdb apis and going to fetch the list of movies matching with that particular search keyword which you have entered so this is pretty much about our routing right here now we are going to understand about the what are the other components we have an error page layout page loading page all these are the common page which you can have inside a particular directory so in the root layout what do we have at the root inside app we can have a layout we can have a page.tsx which need which will be rendered when you hit forward slash and then we have error.tsx loading.tsx all these components can be added there loading.tsx layout.tsx page.tsx and loading means when you are actually making a api call or doing some asynchronous action or asynchronous stuff in a server component loading.tsx automatically come into picture and will show some loading on the screen similarly the layout so this is the root layout which will be used for the whole application because this root layout we are creating inside app directory and for now i'm just creating html body and then rendering all the children's inside this root layout but ideally what all things can be there i can have a header component new bar component search component and then i can render my children's inside it so that is about how we are defining the layout so this is my simple layout and then uh, i'm just trying to check how we have done the aliasing because i see the import issue in the ts config in the bottom you can see the paths means anything which you are putting inside a source should be able to, we should be able to import and it is not identifying jsx that is somewhat strange so what i used to do is i do pnpm install and i close the vs code and open the vs code and after some time everything works as it is 
because currently it's not able to identify the the gsx so what it can be so we we need to see that we have a ts config all the dependencies of react react dom typescript ts config dot json all these things needs to be there if it is a javascript project then you cannot use tsx or ts if you are using tsx then that means it's a typescript project and you have a ts config you have a typescript compiler added then only it should be able to resolve all your uh, gsx syntax which you have written in the ts config in your components so here what i will do is till it is not able to resolve it so then i will just finally install it and then we will open and close so here i'm just also adding the types node types react type react dom i think those dependencies are already there somehow they are not uh, refreshing so what i will do is i will install those dependencies again and reopen the vs code so after reopening it works now i can see all the components i mean jsx is getting identified this is my loading component so loading component will come into the picture whenever we are doing some asynchronous action through the server component and here i'm just showing some image which is uh, just showing some loading icon with alt tag and a, a all these things an image tag can be there you can fetch the image tag from the next image so there are uh, when you want to use link you can use next link when you want to use image because that's an optimized way of uh, using images and uh, next uh, this next js provides it so here we can just uh, now the jsx elements are getting identified this image we need to import from the next image so now what we will do is uh, let's uh, create the so we have created already the loading and this is just error component this is like error boundary component use client because it is using state management stuff and that will be used when there is any error uh, emitted to the top level and no but no, we don't have any handler then this error.tsx will be the handler handling that now this is a page.tsx which is like the default the root page topmost page for the application and here we might be doing some asynchronous things so it will be export default async here mm -hmm. what we are going to do is uh, we are going to access the imdb apis fetch the data and this is these are server components so you can just make a directly api call it's already async function so you can do await or just or write a, some another function like fetch movies and then await fetch movies inside this handler inside this uh, function okay so we are going to do that async uh, genior and here we are going to make the api call so we will check the layout like what all we are importing so here inside our home component because it's a server component what we can do is we can start fetching the data right so we already have a imdb api key which needs to be there in your dot env so that you can access that using process dot env api key and here you can just uh, get the search page search param params if there are if there are any search params and then you can just make an api call const response equal to await and then fetch uh, we can use fetch fetch apis fetch is like an api available and fetch and the url pass the url of uh, your movie imdb api so that i need to copy from somewhere and this is the whole url if january is fetched operated then the url will be movies to operated otherwise it will be trending all week and then you can just pass the api key so this is somewhat uh, simple making an api call using fetch and then you can just do response await dot json you just serialize the response so this is a simple fetch we are doing and we can do the simple fetch inside a server component only because we can just write asynchronous stuff and your component will wait until unless this asynchronous api call gets resolved right so here we are checking response dot okay if not okay then we know what needs to be returned to the client like throw new error fail to load the movies otherwise we got the data that means status code is okay and we can just await the, the response await response dot json 
this will give us the data and now this data can be used by any result component uh, to fetch the data and show that on the grid items or tiles that's what we are doing in the home the home page we are getting the results and then this result data because it will come inside a data dot results that is how the response look like and that we are going to pass inside a results so we will also check what is the mock json response looks like so here we are going to import the results and that we are going to create inside a components so we also need to fix the aliasing because generally the alias start with at the rate forward slash that uh, points to your root directory and uh, for the fixing the alias because i didn't uh, bootstrap it through the next js next js project so this is the alias path forward slash at the rate forward slash will point to the current working directory and uh, this is what you need to add maybe we will try to see what uh, we need to fix here at the rate is not resolving anything so at the rate component should start looking for the component folder which is inside a source so this is the result component and the result is a component which we are going to create inside a components which is just going to receive the data from this server component server side component and then it's only about showing the data through the the card item component okay so we already have a card.tsx and we already have a result.tsx the other components also we can create like new bar.tsx or new bar item.tsx header new menu or new new.tsx i mean we have like header and then there is a new bar with the two links right top trending and all so that we need to create this is the result component now the result component is all about because we already have the data the result which is coming from this uh, parent component right we can define the typings like it should be we can just check the the mock response of this uh, imdb api and create an interface and the same types we can populate everywhere so here we are just uh, applying the classes because the results is going to show these items inside a grid so here we are just checking the grid of two columns and gap of these columns are two and we can have uh, these grid columns based on the the responsiveness like on the small you need two grid on the medium you need five columns in the large you need six columns that depends on how you configure the api configure the classes and here we are getting the results we are doing a dot map onto that and then we have a card component so we will just supply the individual uh, the result which is nothing but a movie data to the card item component okay so i'm just uh, you can just say suppressing the types right now to any i mean most of the places but you can have a design a simple interface by looking at the mock response of this actual api and now this is my simple card component card component is all about okay i have received the movies now i need to show the information right so this is what this card component will be doing card component is receiving a single uh, movie object so we will just try to extract the information and try to display this okay so here this inside this card component because this is going to be a simple tile so all these items will be i think flex column and here flex columns and start aligning all the items from the top to bottom on the tile so here rounded md rounded border and uh, we are just adding the margin padding for the different screens and then inside this we can just have a particular information about the movie like movie title movie url movie banner all these informations can be stacked inside this component card item component so here because this is a tile we need to have a movies and the movie id and inside image we need to show the banner like what is the particular movie so there is a uh, inside the json object which we are receiving from the mock api there will be a poster image i think that we can just display and then other information is all about the movie name description ratings imdb ratings and uh, the all the in other information whatever you can just publish about the movie like the the release year director all the information is available in the api spec i mean in the api json object it depends like how much information we wanted to put so this is all about how we are displaying the movie's grid 
so we are we have written the movies component and movies component uh, is returning us uh, i mean is rendering these card components because there are many movies and every movies will be every movie will be rendered through this card component and here because we are rendering the card so other components we can just see these movie by id and search page so inside movie by id like uh, when you click on a particular tile what will happen is you are trying to access that particular tile and you are trying to access that particular movie so you are trying to access the route movie by id so movie forward slash id here also we can do the same thing we are access getting the movie id in the params and you can use the, we can use this imdb apis to fetch all the information about that uh, movie based on the id fetch it and then just display that information on the ui so how we get the 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 data from the the path params like you can just do is a params.id that will give you give you the id whatever you are adding in the url and here we can just use the same api call as in get movie by id so the, we are passing movie id of type string and then here we can just uh, use this existing api key with just uh, different resources and then it will give us that particular movie now we got the movie so we just also need to display that movie on the, the whole page like we just need to show the movie banner and then movie details movie ratings all those information we need to show in the left so this is my json object you can see inside result i have uh, these are the all the movie results so i can just say backdrop path id overview title name popularity and the ratings title video all these things are available which we can use to display on the tile or on the detail page so when you click on to the particular movie you are you are just only displaying that particular movie detail so all the movie information can be displayed on the movie detail page so here we are getting the movie uh, so this is the api we are hitting and we once we we receive the movie details we are just going to render that information through this component so get movie we will get the movie object and here we are just using this flex container flex column flex row and flex item and flex width is 6xl so what we are doing is we are showing two information one is the movie banner the full width banner and the movie description title all the information in the right hand side so it's a left and right so this is what we are doing is we are just going to display the image first that we can copy like the path and all and this image we can import from the next image so this is movie dot poster path or and here we can import a move uh, image from the next image okay and then you can just display other information in the bottom like movie title and all and we should be able to fetch all the information about the movie like the movie title overview release date and all on the page so i my whole objective of covering this another video is just a very simple is understanding the routing how we can fetch the data how we can access the data passed in the path parameter like movie id or the search term how we can access those using params.id params.search term and how you can make an api call before uh, displaying the the content of that page like in the server component if you are making api call using a sync function that means first you need to get the data to display so here this is a search term another comp another component same as the movie id getting a movie particular detail this search term is again going to hit another imdb search apis you will pass the search term and here we will be just getting the array of all the movies so we can use the result component back again here to display the search results fetched by uh, this component so here we are just doing get movies we got the we got the response so result we got the result and now it's not like simple we result is an array i think so what we need to do is we need to iterate that and display the array response so here we are just uh, what we need to do is result is an array so we just need to check the result dot length is there then you just iterate to it, to it and uh, you can render the child component okay so what we can do is if the length is zero then no result found otherwise we got the result and i wanted to show the information on the screen so what we can do is result result dot if results are there then this 
is the same data which you are already passing off from the landing page. So you can just render the result component and pass the result data to it. And then this component itself will take care of displaying the information. So this is somewhat uh, looks like trending top rated and uh, here we also need to work on. So this is like our actual API and right? this is how it looks. We have header, new bar and the search bar. And there is also theme context provider if you want to apply the themes, but we can skip for the demo. So we have this header, new bar, search bar, and then this result component with the grid component. Result is the component is the same, which is showing the grid and uh, there is a grid component which is showing the individual title of a movie. So next here we are creating a search box component. Search box component is the component which uh, will be rendered by the search page. So here what we need is we need a text field because there is a text field. So you need a search and set search and there is a router. So whenever you type something in the text field and hit enter, we need to redirect to the, the same page. So what we the page is the search page, search forward slash and pass the search term there. So here handle submit, it's kind going to be a simple form where you are going to have input type text field and on change, we are going to track the change which you are, which are happening on the search field. And when you submit it, we will call handle submit. So handle submit is again the, the type student method. So event object will be of type uh, any and event dot prevent default. You can specify the, the whole type of the event also. And then here uh, so once what we are saying is search box so inside search box if you got a search term then router dot push search and then pass the search term so here in this search page search box we have the form input text field and then there is a submit button like when the there is a already search is happening then just disable this when you enter something then only enable this particular button and this is button type submit. So when you click on to this, we will submit the form and handle submit will be triggered. And then it will just, what, what the objective of this is to redirect you to this particular page, search forward slash search term. And it will, then we have this simple component, search component, which is accessing the search term and making the API call and giving us the data back. So, you know, the same pages, which we have used for movie, movie ID movie a movie id we were accessing the movie by id similarly there is a search so when you click on to the search we can access whatever the search keyword you have entered for the movie and make api call and get the data other components are just a new bar item uh, header component so header component just a simple logo and uh, theme switcher in the new bar new bar contains the items also So we have a new bar and header component. We are just going to define them. There is a new bar item component it is just to display that to these two buttons like top trending and top rated. So there is a new bar item component, which we can display and we are passing these two props title and the params. So based on that, we are just going to redirect to those pages. So here new bar, new bar item and new bar item is another component, which we can just use. And here we can just define like what props we are getting from the pairing component. So here, this is a new bar item component, which is accessing the title and the params from the parent component. And here it, there is not much we are doing is we are just adding a simple link of the title and the parents. Okay. So here we are using next link and Based on what is the title and params, we are going to navigate. So if uh, January is this, then do this, otherwise do that. So there are like, uh, this is a simple conditions we are going to put that will take care of the redirection properly. So here we are just showing title. And this is a simple title title. You can see we can, you can pass trending and all. So we can put some conditions like if this is being passed then render this, if that is being passed then render that. Okay. So we are just importing link from next link. And then this is the topmost header component, which is nothing but having some uh, simple background and with some simple clicks. 
and this is our search param so search parameter is like uh, when you are passing a search parameter then how we are searching for the search parameter and fetching the results right so we have all these components now page.tsx in the movies id and inside the uh, search term also we have page.tsx which is going to fetch the data based on the search term and here we can see this this is the final outcome this is how it really looks like i mean apart from the putting any additional styling we are just displaying the basic information we have these two pages and here you can see uh, whenever you are entering something in the search and clicking on to the enter that is becoming part of route and here for these two particular uh, path trending and top rated we are just switching this genre